data. Seoul City's use of big data for its policy to reduce traffic accidents. Seoul uses big data in a variety of areas. This session focuses on only one of those areas. Seoul City's use of big data to reduce traffic accidents. Seoul City's use of big data for its policy to reduce traffic accidents. According to an analysis of traffic accidents in Seoul in 2016, 40,039 traffic accidents occurred in the city in 2016, accounting for 18.1% of all traffic accidents nationwide. That same year, there were 348 traffic fatalities, making up 8.1% of all traffic fatalities nationwide. As this table shows, the number of traffic fatalities in Seoul is below the OECD average, but it is two to three times higher than those of Berlin, London, and New York, among others. Accordingly, Seoul City has formulated diverse traffic safety policies to reduce traffic accidents and protect citizens' lives and property. One of the efforts being made is to use big data for the project to reduce traffic accidents by analyzing traffic accident patterns and making traffic safety policies designed specifically to address the direct causes of traffic accidents. In 2014, Seoul City launched a project to analyze over 140 billion sets of big data, including information on traffic accident causes, vehicle speeds, and floating population, and data collected from taxi tachographs held by public and private sector actors to identify traffic accident patterns and formulate and implement traffic safety policies. To elaborate, Seoul City divided traffic accidents into five categories, those involving child pedestrians, senior pedestrians, drunk driving, median bus stops, and dangerous driving behaviors, and, based on the results of its analysis, formulated traffic accident prevention policies. Among them, we will take an in-depth look at traffic accidents involving child pedestrians, senior pedestrians, and drunk driving and the traffic accident prevention policy Seoul City formulated based on the results of its big data analysis. Let's begin with traffic accidents involving children. Based on the results of its analysis of traffic accidents involving child pedestrians, Seoul City has implemented diverse policies to protect children, as it does pedestrians with mobility disadvantages. Especially since 2003, the city has designated safety zones and implemented special supervision for children. But the city's children remain vulnerable to traffic accidents. In order to identify the causes of such traffic accidents, Seoul City analyzed big data related to the types of traffic accidents involving child pedestrians, location, and time of day. Looking at the analysis results, Seoul City found that 58% of traffic accidents involving children take place within a 300-meter radius of elementary schools. Moreover, Seoul City identified traffic accident black spots and found that male elementary school children are more likely to be involved in traffic accidents in May, when most of their extracurricular activities take place. To address this issue, Seoul City installed additional safety facilities, such as speed bumps in traffic accident black spots, and provided intensive traffic safety education from March to April, when the school year begins. Now let's turn our attention to traffic accidents involving elderly people. As seniors are slower to respond to unexpected situations than younger people, they are more susceptible to serious injuries when they are involved in a traffic accident. Accordingly, it is important to be especially aware of elderly pedestrians. In an effort to address this issue, Seoul City conducted an analysis of big data related to traffic accidents involving seniors. This analysis showed that traffic accidents involving seniors take place most often near traditional markets, rather than senior safety zones, such as senior welfare centers, senior citizen centers, and nursing homes. The analysis also showed that traffic accidents involving seniors take place in Unpyeonggu, Sodemungu, and Dongdaemungu more often than in any other district of Seoul. Based on these results, Seoul City installed more lighting and jaywalking prevention facilities in black spots of traffic accidents involving senior pedestrians, and conducted diverse activities designed specifically for seniors, such as safety training sessions and safety campaigns, in an effort to protect seniors from traffic accidents. Now let's take a look at the analysis of traffic accidents involving drunk driving. Drunk driving and the traffic accidents it causes have become a serious social issue, as driving under the influence of alcohol tends to be the greatest contributing factor to the occurrence of serious traffic accidents, more aggressive measures to address this issue are necessary. 
In an effort to reduce drunk driving accidents, Seoul City conducted a big data analysis that revealed that drivers in their 50s caused the majority of traffic accidents in general. But drivers in their 30s were responsible for the majority of drunk driving accidents. Moreover, 49.9% of drivers in their 30s have had a driver's license for less than five years. In other words, traffic accidents caused by drivers in their 30s who had had their driver's license for less than five years accounted for 16.4% of all drunk driving accidents. Also, drunk driving accidents occurred most often on Saturday. And the most drunk driving fatalities, approximately 22.5%, occurred on Sunday, 78.6% of which occurred between midnight and 7 a.m. In addition, one out of every four drunk driving accidents took place on back roads, and the number of drunk driving accidents occurring in Gangnam-gu, which recorded 13.2%, far outnumbered those in other districts. On the basis of its analysis of drunk driving traffic accidents, Seoul City created and managed a drunk driving accident map and designated sobriety checkpoints in partnership with the police to promote effective drunk driving enforcement. Seoul City also developed the policy support system for traffic accident reduction to ensure that big data is readily accessible to transportation policy makers. The Transportation Policy Division is able to use the system on a regular basis, allowing it to readily conduct statistical, comparative, cross-tab, and thematic analyses with the aim of formulating the best possible transportation policy. Now, let's take a look at the Policy Support System for Traffic Accident Reduction. All the user has to do is click the Children Under 10 box on the left and the Jaywalking box, and the data on injury severity, accident type, accident details, time, weather conditions, and accident location are all analyzed and presented in the form of pie charts and graphs, giving the user a general overview of the patterns of jaywalking accidents involving children under 10 years of age. The support system for the policy to reduce traffic accidents is a highly useful tool, as it allows the Transportation Policy Division to accurately identify the causes of traffic accidents and thus formulate the best possible transportation policy, thereby helping protect the lives and property of citizens. In other words, digital technology is playing an essential role in protecting citizens' lives. As is evident in Seoul's big data-based administrative policy, the world is changing faster than anyone initially expected, and the advancement of digital technology is one of the main drivers of these changes. Currently, Seoul is developing and launching projects based on cutting-edge applications of the fourth industrial revolution in a wide range of areas, in addition to transportation, with the aim of making Seoul an IoT city, realizing data-based social innovations, improving the public Wi-Fi infrastructure, establishing cybersecurity systems, and creating a cloud center. Using advanced digital technologies, such as big data and the Internet of Things, Seoul is creating new engines of growth as it works to solve diverse urban problems in our society. Furthermore, by incorporating elements of the fourth industrial revolution into city administration, Seoul is transforming itself into a smart, safe, and competitive city.